Hey football fans, welcome to my post review videos for Under Further Review. Let's quickly recap the Miami Dolphins at the Cleveland Browns. Well, this game wasn't that exciting, but I had the Dolphins winning this game. I also liked how in this game Tannehill is getting the ball to his weapons and looking a little bit more comfortable in the pocket. Uh, Ryan Tannehill passed for 272 yards and a touchdown, leading the Dolphins to a 23-10 win on Sunday over the Cleveland Browns. Who lost their ninth straight opener and fell to 1 and 14 in week 1 since 1999 as far as the opener goes. Uh, that's not a good stat. Uh, <laughs> I thought Cleveland looked pathetic all game on offense. Just pathetic. Brandon Whedon struggled throughout this game and he threw three picks and was sacked five times and his receivers dropped passes. I mean, that didn't help either. So I did like how the defense for the Browns kept them in this one, but the defense was just you know, couldn't be relied upon as the offense was just awful. I mean, you turn the ball over, you're bound to lose the game more often than not. Now, Whedon did throw a touchdown pass, which put them up by once somehow by halftime, but this offense looked a little dysfunctional. What made me scratching my head was that uh, even more was that Whedon threw the ball 53 times. You have a running back in Trent Richardson give him more than 13 carries. At the end of the day, the Dolphins are on the rise and the Browns are looking to get a little browner. Now, positives and negatives for the Dolphins. Well, this offense didn't womp the Browns, but does look promising and can only get better from here. Uh, I did like how uh, Deion Jordan picked up his first sack well, with a minute and 55 left in the game, which was his only tackle, and he can improve upon that. Brian Hartline uh, shows that he's still relevant after getting re-signed by Miami. And rookie Caleb Sturgis, the, the kicker, kicked field goals of 49, 45, and 36 yards for the Dolphins, who were leading by 13 to 10 when Tannehill took the Dolphins 85 yards to set up a Thomas Short touchdown. Pretty good for Sturgis, if I'm, in my opinion. My negatives, Tannehill didn't get any boost from Miami's running game as the Dolphins were held to 20 yards on 23 carries. That needs improvement big time. No rush game means more pressure for Tannehill, and that needs to get solved. And my other negative is Mike Wallace. Uh, Mike Wallace was a little weird to me as he didn't want to talk to reporters after the game. Uh, dude, you won the game. Who cares? That's all that matters. So I'm watching this guy steadily. My positives and negatives for the Browns. Jordan Cameron stepped up his game and had an awesome day catching nine passes for 108 yards and a touchdown. Uh, my also positive goes to the, uh, the Browns defense, actually, as I give them the game ball, as they did all that they could to keep it close for the Browns offense to try to win the game. Uh, my negatives, obviously, are the Browns did not use Trent Richardson as much. They need to get the ball into this guy's hands, and you know, because he's a pounder. He can make plays and get pressure off of Wheaton. Uh, my other negative, drop balls by the receivers, and the offensive line won't help this offense. Uh, improvement here is a must for Whedon to look and feel better in the pocket. And my last negative is they got to cut down on the penalties as they were called for nine flags. And that, my football fans, is my quick analysis and recap of the Week 1 NFL opener on Sunday with the Miami Dolphins at the Cleveland Browns. Please leave any comments below and subscribe to my page and so you can get all your further reviews and opinions on the NFL 2013 season. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram as I will leave the links below and follow them and I will see you later.